Our final reflection will come reflections will come from Dr. Shannon Ramaka. Dr. Shannon Ramaka. Thank you very much. Um, and thank you, Miguel. It has really been a pleasure to work with you this last year and to make all these new friends across the world. Um, I'm, I have to say I'm a little bit awed by the conversations that I've heard this evening and, and also really inspired. So um, Dr. Miguel and I have been working in international education combined uh, for about uh, 40 years and both of us started in our own homelands before we went working abroad and in the outbreak of COVID I was the head of school at the American School of Kosovo in Kosovo and I personally witnessed uh, a time of empowerment by my middle level leaders and fortunately I had been the director at that school for about five years and had been able to have the opportunity to coach and and build that leadership and at the outbreak of the covid um really i felt like i reaped the benefit of a lot of those years of um, building trust with my people but when miguel and i came together we first started with this question of wow what did we go through and we wondered whether other leaders around the world what they did and what their experience was and we interviewed 13 heads of school of leaders around the world, and it was interesting. What we found was that COVID created a simulation of flattening power structures around the world. So if you were working in a country, in a school where there was a really a clear power distance, um, that what happened with COVID is it created uh, such a um, amount of work that heads of school had to do that middle leader middle leaders were given an opportunity to kind of be, be an equal at the same table and um, so what we looked at was well what was in place to to create that if we took away covid what would be existing and um, so we proposed at the end of this chapter that there was a model that heads of school could use. We call it, it's like a, a triangle, triangle. So what we wanted to do as leaders was foster that trust with middle level leaders to see how, what was their role with parents in their community? What was the role with teachers in the community? And what was the role with the senior leaders, the other people at the table? And so um, it was really powerful to see that empowerment really can happen and it and it did happen um and it would be interesting to know whether it is still sustaining and so that's what we really wanted to try to offer was a model of framework at the end what we think might be a powerful tool of collaboration uh, within international schools so um i hope any of that I, i've shared is a little bit clear i'm i'm meeting with you from the azores and i actually have another meeting to go to in a few minutes but i hope that i have another opportunity to work with you to write with you it really has been a great pleasure thank you everyone thank you very much